I've been to homes where there's feces literally pouring down people's walls, buildings that aren't fire safe. I've been to properties where the central heating pipes have burst, flooded their homes with boiling hot water, tenants being burnt in their own homes as a result of that. New builds where pipes have um, burst again and completely flooded floors with water and tenants having to be evacuated. You name it, I have seen it. It's my mental health as well. It has really done me in. I shouldn't have to feel like this. I've lived in this property 22 years. People's lives have been put at risk ultimately. As the eye has reported recently, hundreds of thousands of social homes in this country do not meet basic health and safety standards. We're in Mitcham in South London to meet Kwejo Twenaboa, a 23-year-old social housing resident who is leading the charge against bad social housing. We're in on the East Wales Estate, lived here since 2018 because I moved in here from living in temporary accommodation. So many issues, um, there's a long list from damp, mould, cockroaches, mice infestation to collapsed ceilings to asbestos. We were complaining about these issues, complaining, complaining, complaining and we just weren't being listened to yet we was paying rent every, every single month that we was here. Um, and then my dad became ill, so he was di diagnosed with stage one esophageal cancer. It progressed quite quickly to stage four, so he went from walking around to being completely bed bound amongst all of this disrepair. He was being fed through his stomach, so he was receiving medical treatment in these conditions. He passed away in um, January 2020, um, and things then went from bad to worse. We had a major leak, which caused the front room ceiling to, to cave in. Kwejo, you were living in terrible conditions here in Mitcham. What made you take your story to social media? So it got to a point where I was at my wit's end, let's say, um, after calling them. Honestly, it must have been hundreds of times, and the person on the phone was completely rude, told me they're not coming out, and they're really busy, hung, hung the phone up on me. But that was it, like, there's nothing more I can do. So then I went and took pictures and videos of the inside of my home, took the risk of going to social media and it was sh I shared it and that, then that was shared within minutes um, over a thousand times. Do you think that there is a problem with shame and stigma when it comes to living in social housing? No one would want to talk about living in those sorts of conditions of mice, cockroaches, damp mould, faeces coming down your walls, um, you name it. Um, so there is that element of shame but I think people are starting to get over that. People are becoming more comfortable in knowing that it's not the tenant's fault that they're living in these sorts of situations. It's the neglect and abuse from housing providers. But unfortunately, it's never been seen as a priority. And what I've been able to do um, is uncover that and take people inside of tenants' homes that are suffering to show them people's lives have been put at risk, ultimately. We're in London, but Kwejo, you've seen what's going on outside of London. Would you say bad conditions in social housing is a national issue? This is by far not just a London problem. I think it's London focused at the moment and that's why I am determined to go outside of London and prove it's a national issue. And I'm determined to make sure that it's seen as a priority and treated as a priority. From Kwejo's home on the East Fields estate, we went with him just a few streets over to meet Dawn Page, the mother of a 12 year old daughter who has been left without a cooker after raw sewage poured down her walls. Hello, how are you? So the sewage was coming from the neighbours above. It took me four weeks before they'd even moved me out of this property. I had to go to environmental health to get me out of it. First thing, put my NI number outside, put my medication outside, left it all for everyone to go through. I've been out of my home nine months now. It's just, that's all I want. I'm paying the rent for it. Oh my God. See, oh my dear you've just had those put on and they're loose like that you can pull them off they so that they can easily just fall up they're being held up by nails i don't have a cooker so where am i going to cook for my daughter don't have a washing machine don't have a tumble dryer don't have a fridge freezer basically they wanted to put back the ones who have been sitting with sewage over it for nine months i shouldn't have to feel like this i've lived in this property 22 years <laughs> all i'm asking is please do the job correctly that's all that's all i think i'm entitled to that Poor social housing is a national problem. The Secretary of State for Housing, Michael Gove, has promised social housing tenants new consumer rights. And what we've seen today shows just how urgent that is.